your rose plant died. Well, do you know why your rose plant did not survive in the desert? Because the desert is not its natural habitat. The rose plant does not belong in this ecosystem. <laughs> Let me explain. Each organism needs a lot of things in order to live. Oh well, an organism means any living thing. An animal, a plant, even a tiny germ, all these are organisms. Yes, they are each an organism. How about a table? Is that an organism? Right again, a table is not an organism. Any living thing is called an organism. Let's meet an amazing organism, Mr. Fox. What would Mr. Fox need in order to survive? Hmm. What would you need in order to survive? Yes, even Mr. Fox needs his food. Let's arrange for that. That's very nice of you. But what will these rabbits eat? Wonderful! Let me add some more stuff. Now it looks complete. This is the ecosystem where our Mr. Fox lives. It has all the living and non-living things he needs. Ecosystem is a system that consists of all living and non-living things that depend on each other to survive. Ecosystem is a short form for ecological system. It comes from the word ecology. Ecology is the interaction of living and non-living things. So can you tell me what living things are a part of this ecosystem? The fox? The rabbits? Right, the trees, grass, even the microorganisms here are a part of this ecosystem. The living parts of an ecosystem are called the biotic factors of an ecosystem. Now tell me what non-living things are a part of this ecosystem. The rocks, yes. The water, right. Even sunlight, type of air and soil and amount of rainfall are all part of this ecosystem. The non-living parts of an ecosystem are called the abiotic factors of an ecosystem. So, do you now understand what an ecosystem is? Absolutely! And? Super! Let's see, what will be an ecosystem for a fish? There is no fixed size for an ecosystem. An ecosystem can be very small like a plant log or as large as our entire planet. So now tell me, would a desert be the best ecosystem for your rose plant? Hmm? Now let's learn about different components and levels of living things in an ecosystem. We have learned that organism is a single living thing. But every ecosystem has more than one organism. A group of same organism is called population. So a group of rabbits in this picture, in this ecosystem would be called population. Oh, here is a fox. Is one single fox a population? You are right. A single fox is not a population. It's an organism. But a group of rabbits would be a population. In an ecosystem, there are populations of many different organisms like population of rabbits, population of foxes, population of owls and even rats. Also, there may be a population of trees. 
All these populations form a community. A community includes all the populations of living things. If we add few more things to this community like clouds, soil, sunlight, it becomes an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a combination of living and non-living things. So now you have understood ecosystem and its various components. You can dance.